Hello. Hi. Welcome to our podcast number nine. Um, we're coming to you from outdoors in Camden. This is Lake Beach. It's a little local beach. And summer is definitely happening behind us. And around us. And we've around got people us. arriving to the beach in the car right over there. The crows. There's like a summer camp down here. And we've got the beautiful Camden Hills in the background as well. As the Hills. Camden Harbor. And it's a super beautiful, picturesque main, perfect it main really day. Is. It's glorious. No humidity. Just, I think, high in the 70s today. Yeah. Um, I'm Iris and this is Kristen. Yes. Yeah. In case Hi. you didn't know who we were. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> we're from the Cashmere Goat. Yeah. Did we say that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we're just kind of distracted by the summer vibe here. We'll just it's, say that. It's glorious. Mm -hmm. And we've had a lot of very hot, humid weather. And in the last few days, there has been um, beautiful days like this. And this is, for, for me, this is what Maine is all about. It's one of the reasons why I live here. Yes. Because it's just so spectacular. 100% mm -hmm. recommend. Yeah. <laughs> Days like this. Absolutely. <laughs> um, so. So here we are. Here we are. What are we wearing? What are we wearing? You go first. Okay. I am yet again modeling my um, Love is Love wrap. This is by Alice Smith of Birch Tree Knits. It is just so light, so perfect, um, perfect little wedge kind of, uh, or trapezoid shape on the back. Um, and just all these fun little ribbons of colors. I used um, natural machita. Yes. Ivory machita. Ivory, ivory machita. Ivory, which is a little different than natural. It has um, a touch of color. Touch of warmth. So it's a nice warm neutral. And then I used mini skeins from On the Round in the plush single. And we have the the nimble sock as well in the mini skeins. We do. We so do. that's what I'm wearing. What are you wearing? Well, I am wearing, uh, I actually, a customer, thank you, Allison, made this for us. This is a, um, a Sophie scarf, but it's made out of Frida, which is actually a worsted weight gradient. And another customer had made them, and had made one like this, and I just thought it was so pretty. Um, and um, Allison made, made one up for me in just a couple days. So it's a worsted weight, so it's a little wider, uh, but I just thought it was so pretty the way it worked up. Sophie turns out to be one of those patterns that is super adjustable, yeah. which we like, because you kind of can't go wrong. I mean, like, if you tried, you could. Before. Well, you tried, you could. We got a ton of new colors in Frida. We did, we mm -hmm. did. Frida, and Frida is 100% uh, superwash mm -hmm. merino, it's very soft. And it is a color gradient, and there's a lot of different gradients. I just loved the soft, gentle, summery vibe of this one. And I'm wearing a gorgeous sweater that my uncle bought me when I was in Norway. It's a favorite. Love it. I might need to take it off. So. It could get a little warm here. It could get a little yeah. warm. So it's far, it's not. Especially if the sun shifts a little bit, we might have some interesting light changes on our face. We're just we working might. with the natural I world here. We just here. did, in fact. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, we've talked about what we're wearing, who we are, where we are. How about our knitting? How Updates. about our knitting? Well, mine is the same wah, wah, as it has been the last few times. I'm a little farther. I'm almost done with the body of my new horizons. Oh my gosh. And um, I'm just about to the ribbing. I might already be. I just need to um, measure it. And um, test knit for Chris. No. For Flynn Chris Knit. Flynn, no. Flynn Knit. Flynn Knit. Um, Courtney Flynn of Flynn yes. Knit, who is a hat knitter, and she has um, a hat knitting book. Um, so this has been, mm. this part was the most fun part. The rest of it's plain stockinette. And I have been visiting with people and watching TV and trying to get through the long stuck in it, which for me is a little boring, honestly. Mm. I like a little more excitement in my knitting, but I love the sweater, love the yarn. It's Zodiac from yeah. Seven Sisters and it's dreamy. So dreamy. That's what I'm working on nice. and I am being monogamous because this is a test knit, which I have never done a test knit before. And if you don't know what a test knit is, a test knit is 
uh, when a designer is trying a new pattern but they haven't published it yet and they need people to test it out to make sure the pattern's correct and understandable and and in different sizes sometimes yes. i see when a test knitter or a knitter a designer has something they'll say i still need test knitters for sizes four six yep. eight or whatever because as we know size changes you we're not if you're if you're bigger or smaller in some area we don't all grow in exactly even mm -hmm. ways so test knitting is important and I have to be done by August 20th, so I am being monogamous. Pressure is The on. pressure. Yes, because it's August. It's August. Woo! <laughs> um, okay, so I've been working on the contrast blast socks with um, Stephen West. It's the surprise sock along. So if you're also doing the surprise sock along and maybe you're not all the way done with this last clue, I guess you should just fast forward a little bit because I'm going to show you. I finished my first one last night. So I have one finished wow. sock it's wild there's fun little cables and squishy slip stitches and stair step detailing i love the heel with the slip stitch color work there i think wow. that's really really pretty and this is exciting <laughs> i had this brainstorm you know the classic knitted toe that's sort of again like trapezoidal or whatever that's not the shape of my foot. <laughs> so I feel a little bit rather belatedly, like I thought, hmm, I wonder if I could make a toe that actually was the shape of my foot. And of course. Turns out you can. Turns out you can. <laughs> I Googled, what did I Google? I don't know, but I, I ended up on a page with like lots of different options for shape toe shaping based on your foot. And I'm scrolling, scrolling, and then I stopped at this one that said anatomical toe. And I was like, ooh, that sounds like what we're talking about so check this out this is the actual shape of my right foot i have like my you know bigger toe up here and then boop, 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 all my little toes go down like this so basically i'm just decreasing on the one side and then only at the very end did i put in some decreases to shape around that big toe so that's my first toe done and i'm thinking already like yeah how you know how could i adapt this as I move forward, I mean, I could be making, we'll see how this feels and holds up over time, but how fun that I could make my sock actually really, really fit my foot. So, and I was thinking this sock looks a little wonky, but I think it's going to look really different oh, when you block it. needs it. to be blocked for Definitely sure. Definitely needs to be blocked. Yep. So if you're thinking it looks wonky, it's because it needs to be blocked. And do you have another one going? I do. I just only got back to sock number two last night. <clears throat> oh, look, see, she's she's cruising along so i've got this far i'm cooking along with my final little section but yeah these have been really fun i am enjoying it but yeah when i saw the video of stephen west he definitely showed a before and after blocked and the blocking it's, it changed, it's everything I'm it's sure. everything and i have one more project which is one that i took on a recent trip that i took to cape breton island in canada nova scotia and it is this really fun it's called the glint cowl it's by leslie ann robinson it's in her book the brioche for beginners and beyond i think it's called yeah. and um i just kind of was curious about this um it's very sort of like wavy and um i i was inspired um to pick these colors because of a moth that um that was on my windowsill okay. It's a rosy maple moth yep. and looks like pink lemonade is what Miranda called it. And so I was like, oh, that's so dreamy. So I've got on the round plush single in glow. That's the yellowish. And I have um, on the round. Is it tourmaline? Uh, pink tourmaline. Yep. yep. Um, also plush single. And then I'm using for this mohair little bit that you hold with the pink. Um, that is the, isn't it the Malabrigo? The Miranda? Malabrigo mohair, and it is the color English rose. English rose is the color. So it's nice work. It's fun. And what I did for myself, because I knew I was going to be in the car and didn't necessarily want to be like reading tiny print in my book, I, in my knitting notebook, I recopied the pattern, the row repeats, and that also really helped me. Um, sort of see where the really pay attention rows were and actually 
parse out like, oh, you know what? There's actually only three out of eight rows that are really like pay a little bit more attention mm -hmm, to. Mm -hmm. So it helped. And then it was really easy to just glance down at my big handwriting and not the tiny prints in the car. Awesome. Yeah. I had my little trip too. Uh, when I, I went on a trip too and I brought that sweater with me and I had my husband make me this little knitting clipboard which I'm hoping to have him make some more of and I just found super convenient. Uh, I tend to use those plastic sleeves mm. And I don't love them. Mm. Um, and, and well, because you can't scribble. You can't or scribble, make notes. and they're just too big. Mm. And so I guess I can pull it yeah, out. Yeah, show it. I yeah. fell in love with it. I, I I want these for our shop. So it's just a little piece of um, very thin wood, laminated wood, I think. Um, and I I had more clips on it, but I found that actually one is okay and uh, fold things in half and you can move them around really easy and uh, I really like it so I'm trying to get him to make some for the shop and we were thinking of different materials different finishes and uh, it's all sanded too around the edges yeah. are round we love so a round corner apparently I love a rounded corner apparently that's deep within me I love a rounded corner <laughs> So, but it's so simple and so like just like a like low tech solution. It's, really. It is, but I like it mm -hmm. a lot. And when I was traveling, I did have more clips, and I'm working on what other types of clips mm -hmm. could work on this that would not stick out so mm -hmm. far. Yep. So that's in the works, hopefully. Yay! At least for me. Mm. So, um, one other thing we can talk about is, um, well, as we mentioned, it's summertime in Camden. That brings us uh, very many visitors mm. to the shop. And not all are crafters or not all are knitters. And we've started to offer um, some fun things in the shop. Um, some of them are craft kits. Mm -hmm. um, we've had friendship, friendship bracelet kits. Um, crochet kits, knit kits of like little Star Wars or what was the other one? I think maybe. There's a um, Nightmare Before oh, Christmas. Yeah, yeah. There's all sorts of little kits and we have a puzzle mm -hmm. um, which is yarn or fiber related which is a gorgeous puzzle. With the wet weather that we've had too mm -hmm. I feel like people have come in the shop like Ooh, you know, yeah. we've been in stuck inside for a while. Yeah. Not today, obviously, but I think that's also been important for us to have Absolutely. those kinds of like grab Absolutely. and go. What can I do with my kids? And we all always <clears throat> have uh, punch. I'm not punch needle. Um, needle needle felting. Um, so we have. Uh, oh, and soap. We have new cold process soap, sweater soap, and regular soap. Mm -hmm. We have show and tell. I do. I do. I do. I do. Okay. So, oh, as oh, this was one of our kits, and this is a knitting kit. <gasps> knit your own dot, uh, Dotson. Knit uh, your own Dotson. Can you even? And it says um, everything you need to create your new best friends. Love it. <laughs> so perfect dog. Ooh. No feeding, barking. Oh wow, wow. big. Okay, sweet. okay. What is big that? Bug. Hello, Beetle. Hello. How about beetle. we just like scoot out of the podcast? Like, shoot away. That's a big beetle. That is a big beetle. This is our friend. He's come to join the podcast. Hmm. And he is on the unicorn farts of soap, <laughs> which I wanted to show you. What's his name? What do we think? Hmm. We'll just leave him Boris. there. Could his Thanks name be Boris? Thanks for joining us, Boris. Mm -hmm. You know, you're feel free to go anytime. Yep. So he's um, over there. So Kristen <laughs> was holding him on the unicorn farts soap yes. from Long Winter Farm. And it is, what does it smell like? I think it's a, a little, little minty. minty. Yep. Um, minty and it's pretty. It's and, so pretty. And it has a lot of, um, there's a lot of fat in the mm. soap. So it feels really good on your skin. It doesn't dry. I've used her soap for years. And so we have a, a limited selection, but we have some of our favorites in the mm -hmm. shop that are great for your bodies. And as we've talked about, I think in a previous podcast, or maybe it was just in an email, the sweater soap is our, kind of our new favorite yes. because yes. locally made, no plastic. Yep. It's really last forever. And the, and, the, and it smells so mm. good. It's a pleasure to like, you soap, you soap Mother up your hands. hands. 
put and, it in your water. Yeah, do it a couple times. And when it's when it's nice and uh, when the water's a little milky looking. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, come on, Boris, we're going. Bye, Hello, Boris. goodbye. Bye, bye, Boris. Bye. Oh, thanks, no. thanks Other for way. joining. There we go. Okay. <laughs> See you later. Boris was huge. I feel proud of us for saying we so didn't calm. scream. Okay, but now that <laughs> Boris has left the vicinity of the fart soap, <laughs> let's show it to you. So, so pretty. Each one is different. Each one is unique. But do you see the glitter, the swirls? It's, that one's it's a really fun one, and that's why I brought fun. this one. Yeah, and there, there's um. And I know Amanda from Long Winter uh, Soap Company, and she, these products are just great. I highly recommend. Um, we also have Karen from um, Seven Sisters Arts came yesterday mm. and brought us a delivery, and I had asked for rhubarb, and she'd never done rhubarb and Zodiac, which is the worsted weight version of their yarn. And um, it's glorious. Don't go too close. Not um, too close like that um it will yeah um so that's the, this is the rhubarb zodiac and i also in uh astrid uh it looks different on different things on different bases look how good and then the good, meridian look how good this looks with your sweater because there is that little bit of sort of gold yep, in like a this, rhubarb plant. like an actual rhubarb plant and like, it did come out a little bit pinker mm, than it normally does but look, like so we're a, loving it uh, we really are loving it. It's just beautiful and it's, you know, residing in a Camden bucket, which we do have a few of these in stock right now. Um, also, it's a well-loved item. So, we've got a Pima trunk show going on right Oh yeah, now. we do. We Pima do. Soft. So, Pima Soft by Barocco. Got the booklet and got some beautiful garments and we just brought a couple to show you. Um, love this tank and it comes with a cardigan. It does. Over cardigan. I, we just thought the tank by itself was so mm -hmm. nice. Um, and very, everybody seems to be wearing knitted tank tops right yeah. now. Uh, and this is beautiful. And if you can feel this yarn, it is a very dreamy, soft Pima cotton. Yeah. And, and it's a really, it's a nice, I like to share it with people cause it is a nice price point. It is. Um, it is. So that's that's a good option. It is. It is. This is one of our least expensive yarns. This one's called Milligrain, and I love the sleeves on this. Look at the raglan. It has a little ruffly edge. So pretty. Once so classic. Again, super soft. Yep. Um, so that is a couple of items from our trunk show. Do you know how long we have it? Probably just till Friday, probably okay. till the end of the week, which is the 4th, or yeah. maybe till Monday. I'm not, ex I haven't gotten the email yet. I th actually, they have us usually ship on Monday, so probably till through Monday the 7th. Mm -hmm. um, so, so if yeah. you're local, come on by. Come on by, mm -hmm. you can try these on, you can look at them mm -hmm. all. We have everything that is in the book. Um, probably the actual garments. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Um, really nice stuff. Really, really nice stuff. So we're looking at our post. We are. Now. We got a little cheat mm -hmm. sheet today. Always. Um, so um, Iris said that I should mention that I am definitely going on another knitting cruise as a participant, not as someone who's helped putting it on. And it's sailing out of Camden mm -hmm. on the Angelique, which is all new to me. And I'm doing that in September. And I am really excited because when I came off that boat last time, I can't remember when I was that relaxed. It was so good. So I decided to do it again. So yeah. great. And that's with um, the same woman that I did organize it with, uh, Sawmill, Sawmill Creek, Creek Fiber, Fiber Events. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> mm -hmm. Mary. And so shout out to them and to her. It, it's, um, it's, it's sold, sold out now, it is right? Sold out. But it if you wanted out. to maybe make sure that you got notifications about events she's doing next year, yeah. probably you could go to that website. Yes. And we will probably be doing some next year. Just so you know, definitely watch out for that. Mm -hmm. And then we have another, the other cruise. The other cruise is our main yarn cruise. I am still loving the bag. You know me in bags. There it is. And 
love the handles still. Um, and so Sundays, which is the day that I work in the shop, Sundays seem to be a really hot day for cruisers mm -hmm. to come through. So how the cruise works is it's a bunch of local yarn stores all around Maine. And you're, when you purchase the bag, you get this cool little passport, a bunch of fun little freebies and mm -hmm. interesting things inside. And then um, the idea is you go around to the various shops on the cruise and get your stamp for your passport. And each store has a store prize each mm -hmm. month. And then there's a grand prize in every store. That So as a cruiser, you get these raffle tickets that then you can enter. Um, and there's maybe some shops do other sorts of giveaways. Yeah. And, yep, there's and... different things. Every shop does it a little bit different, but in every shop, there are two giveaways. Um, and there's the monthly prize and- a big prize at the end, right? And then, a, then the store's grand prize. But then if you go to all of the mm -hmm. stores, there's a big, there's a grand, grand prize that everybody who turns in a completed um, passport, passport uh, enters. It's so. just really fun because we sort of see them come into the shop. They're holding their bags and mm -hmm. we get excited to see them. We're, you know, yeah. it's fun to hear where they're coming from. Last weekend, we had a family of four cruisers who yeah. were in, which was super awesome. It seemed like perhaps a grandma, a mom and two granddaughters. Mm -hmm. And, you know, to see everybody's delight and just exploring the store is yeah. really, really it's fun. fun. It's um, fun. It's fun to meet new people, and yeah, and we have parking out front, which they are yeah. they have learned. Uh, mm -hmm. It's this is our second summer with parking, and people love it. It makes it easier to shop the store. Yes. So yeah. So there's me on a cruise. There's the yarn cruise, yep. and then there's a fiber side summer crawl. Yes. <laughs> and we're going to be in it. We Our are. shop will be in it on August 20th. We are in the planning stages. We've got yep. some thoughts about what we're going to talk about because we only have 15 yeah, minutes. we have a 15 minute window. So and... we've got to really get right to it. And so if you're interested in learning more about that, um, go to FibersideSummerCrawl.com. I believe that's the We also website. have it on our website uh, yeah, too. You, where we you, have a link like on, on the yep, main page. And um, it's super fun. I've watched a few of them because, uh, you know, just knowing that we were going to be doing ours. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's really super cool to dip into these yarn stores all across yeah. North America yep. and check out what they're doing and what kinds of local items they're featuring. And yeah. a lot of them are showing, you know, um, new patterns yep. and, and they typically offer a special. Yes. It's yep. so interesting to see some are dyers, mm. some are weavers. Uh, they just, they offer different local items. And it, it's been, um, it's fun to see. And there's, it's an hour long on Sunday afternoons. It's still not too late to join. And uh, in that hour, you see four different shops. So it's pretty, it's like yarn tourism from it the is. comfort of your own home. It and is. it's recorded, which yeah. I also love because yeah. I'm working Sunday, so I can't ever watch it live. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's that. Um, and. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. We have a funny note on the bottom of our post-it to keep us laughing. Uh, yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. So Camden is amazing at this time of year. We yep. encourage you to come, come visit us. Yes. Come visit Camden. We hear, I think a camp counselor behind us I, right now. I actually know that person, but you know, that's cool. That's how it is in Camden. We know a lot of the peeps, we but do. this is a really mm -hmm. lovely public beach and yeah, it's beautiful, um, beautiful overlooks the Harbor. And I love it cause I bring my dog here. They have like dog friendly hours, um, you know, before eight, I think you can bring mm -hmm. your dog here and it's fine, which is so nice to have a pub publicly accessible beach that is like that yeah and it's close and apparently cody's life jacket is back there apparently. um cody if you're watching Go life jacket, your life jacket. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um well you're probably getting a little view of the camp coming up the coming up the path yeah. here so maybe we'll sign off yes and my and the sun has just hit my eyeball yeah so it's a perfect good time, time to go thanks for <laughs> thanks for watching thanks for watching bye bye happy making